Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a very special interview with two intellectuals right here. Uh, both of these intellectuals, Atabek and Sivera, have achieved overall score seven. And they took the test both in December 2019. They're both 17 years of age. Hello, Atabek. Hello, Sivera. Hi. By the way, it's the first time I'm interviewing a Joker. And I hope I will not be killed like in the movie after the interview. Well, I'll think about that. Okay, so if you don't mind, we will start with the lady first. Okay, go ahead. Sivera, I remember that at the beginning of your IELTS preparation, you had some difficulties with the listening part. Uh, can you tell us about that, please? Yes, as for me, listening is the easiest part in IELTS and uh, I practice it every day. At least I did one practice a day, but if I had more time, I did two. But the biggest mistake that I, that I made, uh, it was I didn't analyze my answers fully. And I advise all of you to do it uh, every day and of course fully. With the analysis of the mistakes. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Atabek, what helped you to uh, boost your listening results? Well, to speak about my listening preparation, I used a little bit unusual strategy. I converted uh, movies into audios and listened them on the way to my home or to the classroom, and they really helped me. They really helped me on the real test. So you converted films into MP3 files? Yes, there are special applications on mobile phones. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I never thought about this, but I, I guess, yeah, that can be very useful to develop listening skills. And turning to the speaking part, well, both of you have speaking band 7, which is a great score for teenagers. Uh, let's talk about how you develop that skill. Uh, let's speak about your home preparation, Sivara. What did you do at home to develop your speaking? Speaking was uh, interesting, uh, the, the most interesting one for me. And uh, when I started learning IELTS, I tried to answer questions in speaking in Russian firstly. And only after that, I tried to answer, uh, to translate it into English. So it, uh, it took a lot of time, I guess, right? Not so much time, but it's really useful approach. Well, this bilingual approach can, can be useful indeed. When you use two languages at home to prepare for the speaking test, it can be very effective. And Atabek, well, from the paint on your face, I understand yes. that you love movies, you love Joker. Uh, tell, me, tell me, please, have these movies helped you in your IELTS preparation on the speaking part? Yes, definitely. As it's not a secret, getting pleasure uh, is the key point in each preparation. So, I love movies. And you know, I didn't prepare for the IELTS alone. I had friends, so we have chosen some movies and divided uh, that roles uh, between us. Then we learned by heart their speech, the speech of their characters. Then we imitated them, exactly as these actors do in the movies. So yeah. as a result, I got seven at, on the speaking part of the IELTS test. Okay, uh, who did you imitate most of all? Well, mostly I imitated uh, characters from this um, Marvel universe, like Iron Man or Captain America. And I know the strategy because about five years ago, I also tried to imitate Johnny Depp. Because mm -hmm. when I was speaking, I didn't feel very confident. But when I thought that I wasn't me, as that I was Johnny Depp, I spoke much better uh, and I, I felt more relaxed. This imitation helped me a lot. Yes, right, right. Uh, it helped me to gain the self-confidence, you know. All right, thank you guys for coming. I'm really proud of you, my dear intellectuals. And I really hope that I will tell the same words to some of you in the future. Goodbye. Good luck. Bye. And always remember, never use subways late at night. <laughs>